peripheral nervous system the nervous system is a complex sophisticated system of the human body it regulates and coordinates our bodily activities this system can be divided into two parts the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system let's take a look at the peripheral nervous system the peripheral nervous system is a channel for the relay of sensory and motor impulses between the central nervous system on one hand and the body surface skeletal muscles and internal organs on the other hand neuron or a nervous cell is the basic building block of our nervous system there are two types of neurons in the peripheral nervous system Neurons which carry information from the body to the central nervous system are called sensory neurons whereas neurons which carry information from the central nervous system to the rest of the body are called motor neurons The cell bodies of peripheral neurons are often found grouped into clusters called ganglia The peripheral nervous system is composed of two kinds of nervous systems. The first one is called the somatic nervous system which is composed of spinal nerves and cranial nerves. The cranial nerves are the ones which exit from the brain and the spinal nerves exit from the spinal cord. There are 12 pairs of cranial nerves. Some cranial nerves are sensory nerves which carry sensory information from the external stimuli or body organs to the central nervous system. For example, olfactory nerves for nose, optic nerves for the eyes, and auditory nerves for ears. Some cranial nerves are motor nerves like the ones going to the eye muscles that carry information from the central nervous system to body organs. Most of the cranial nerves contain motor as well as sensory fibers and can be described as mixed nerves like the ones that originate and terminate in the face and tongue. There are 31 pairs of spinal nerves. These nerves are grouped into 8 cervical, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacral and 1 coccygeal according to the region of the vertebral column from which they arise. All of the spinal nerves are mixed that is they contain both sensory and motor neurons. The fibers of the nerves are packaged together in a nerve but separate near the attachment of the nerve to the spinal cord. This produces two roots to each nerve. The dorsal root which is composed of sensory fibers and the ventral root composed of motor fibers. The dorsal root contains an enlargement called the dorsal root ganglion where the cell bodies of the sensory neurons are located the cell body of motor neurons is not located in a ganglion but instead is with the gray matter of the spinal cord the somatic nervous system controls the skeletal muscles as well as the external sensory organs such as the skin This system is said to be voluntary because the responses can be controlled consciously. It includes all of the nerves that serve the skeletal muscles and the exterior sense organs. It also includes reflexes. The autonomic system is part of the peripheral nervous system responsible for regulating involuntary body functions such as blood flow, heartbeat, digestion and breathing. It is generally without conscious control whereas most of its actions are involuntary such as breathing, work in tandem with a conscious mind. 
these involuntary actions are controlled by antagonistic actions of the two divisions of the autonomic nervous system, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic divisions. The sympathetic system regulates the flight of fight responses, that is, quickly activates our body, preparing it for action by increasing the heart rate, dilating the pupils and vessels to the muscles, increases skin sweating and suppresses digestion. The sympathetic nervous system stimulates the body and helps us to deal with emergency situations. Stimulation from sympathetic nerves dilates the pupils, accelerates the heartbeat, increases the breathing rate and inhibits the digestive tract. On the other hand, the parasympathetic system controls the opposite responses to flight or fight responses, that is, depresses the activity of the body, preparing it for rest by decreasing the heart rate, constricting the pupils and vessels to the skeletal muscles and stimulating digestion, peristalsis and salivary production. In short, the parasympathetic system returns the body functions to normal after they have been altered by sympathetic stimulation. In times of danger, the sympathetic system prepares the body for violent activity. The parasympathetic system reverses these changes when danger is over. Unlike the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system is not protected by the bone of spine and skull or by the blood-brain barrier, leaving it exposed to toxins and mechanical injuries. There are more than 100 kinds of peripheral nerve disorders. They can affect one nerve or many nerves. Some are the result of disorders like diabetic nerve problems. Others happen after a virus infection or injuries, for example, Julian Barr syndrome, which happens after a virus infection. Some people are born with peripheral nerve disorders. The peripheral nervous system is what operates the functions of our body that we carry out on a day-to-day -day basis and is therefore imperative to our survival.